What's up kitchen table wizards? What's up deck brewers from all over the world? My name is Bram and we are here again with another casual deck tech. Now if you are following the channel you know I am here usually with my intern Kami and she's also right here in a digital way of course to stay safe and because her internship is almost over I've asked her to choose the deck. So Kami, which deck will it be for today? Ah, we can finally do a cat deck! A uh, cat deck. Uh, let me check with the cats and see what they think. No, I, I don't think that a cat deck will be possible this time. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Mm, well, what about... Zombies! Yes, I'm a big fan of Walking Dead, you know, so... Okay, of Daryl, okay. Zombies! Bluff. I don't really feel like it. It's sunny outside. I don't have the zombie vibe. No. Ouch! I think I've burned my thong! Perfect! That's it, Kami! Great idea! Let's do a burn deck! Really? Okay, okay, let's do a burn deck. So today we go back in time and we are going to let it burn! We're gonna let it burn! Of course we play mono red. So this burn deck is going to be a casual variant. So not a lot of four offs in this deck. No, no, a lot of one offs with different kind of burn spells. So you can have some inspiration from the deck and it's also really fun to play this deck. Now, if you like my deck decks, make sure to give the video a like. You can also subscribe, come on, you can do it. Just push that little button there. Yes, 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 thank you, thank you. And our good friends at Card Market here, they they are always sponsoring the channel. They are always being super kind to us and they are giving us some 10 euro vouchers. And if you also want to be in the raffle for a 10 euro voucher, just subscribe and leave a comment below and then you'll be automatically in the voucher. And at the end of the video, yes, you'll have to wait a little bit. At the end of the video, I will announce the winner of the 10 euro voucher. So today's deck is around 20 euros or $25 and it's a really good way to get introduced in playing Burn. So of course we start with a land base and we also start with a flavor of the deck. We need to have it burn, we need to have some lava, we need to have some heat. So that's why I have chosen these mountains surrounded by lava from Alexi Briclo. I play 12 mountains. I'm also playing two forgotten caves, great cycling lands, and I've also included a bunch of deserts in the deck because it can get pretty hot in the desert, right? First off, the Ramunap Ruins, a great card in a burn deck to do some additional damage. You just have to pay four mana, sacrifice a desert to deal two damage to each opponent and I play eight deserts in the deck. So apart from the one-off Ramunap Ruins, I play Three, Desert of the Fervent. I can also cycle this card away if I don't have the runes. And I also play four, Sunscourt Desert that deal that additional point of damage. The last card that I play is not a desert. It's a legendary land called the Shivan Gorge and it gives us one mana, but for three mana, I also can have it deal one damage to each opponent. If you think about burn spells, you of course think about the lightning bolt. I included one copy of this nostalgic one mana instant that deals three damage to any target. Another great one mana burn spell is the chain lightning. It's sorcery speed, so a little bit slower than the lightning bolt, and it also deals three damage to any target. A less powerful version is the Shock, but it's also a very cheap card to buy and I like some diversity in my decks. Because I wanted to show you a lot of different burn spells, so I included also one Shock in the deck. 
We continue with the one mana burn spells in two firebolts and two burst lightning. Firebolt you can play with a flashback cost so you can play it twice and burst lightning you can also play for five mana and in that case it can deal four damage. So in the two drop slot I included two incinerates, a searing spear and a lightning strike and all those cards are errated and they say you can deal three damage to any target. You maybe know that I don't like to include a lot of four offs but in the case of Kindle I made an exception. Kindle deals X damage to target creature or player where X is two plus the number of cards named Kindle in all graveyards. So you get my drift. Some more sizzling heat for three mana is the exquisite Firecraft. It's a sorcery that deals three damage to any target. And when you have two or more instants and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, this spell can't be countered. Another super hot burn card is the Hammer of Bogarden. A sorcery that deals 3 damage to target creature or player and for 5 mana you can return it from the graveyard to your hand in your upkeep. Do you want some more fire? Do you want some more pain? <laughs> we will continue with more burn spells. Let's look at the Pulse of the Forge. This 3 mana instant deals 4 damage to target player and if that player has more life than you you return it back to your hand so you can play it again next turn. Are you feeling hot already? Well, let me give you a hand with this card. Char is an instant for 3 mana. You will deal 4 damage to any target and you will also get 2 damage dealt to you. Now for 3 mana we also included a brow beat. And if you look at the art you can imagine that this guy probably caught his girlfriend cheating with this other guy. Now this other guy now has a choice. Get 5 damage dealt to him or give the other guy 3 cards. What would you do? Looking at his face I would give the 3 cards. The first card for 4 mana is the crackling flames. It deals 3 damage to any target and when you have no cards in hand it deals 5 damage. I feel the temperature is rising and let's, let's get some candles as well. Rekindled Flame is a sorcery and for 4 mana it deals 4 damage to any target. And at the beginning of your upkeep if your opponent has no cards in hand you may return rekindled flame from your graveyard to your hand. Can you feel the thunder coming with the thunderous rod for 6 mana? You get an instant that deals 5 damage to any target but it also has a miracle effect on it. You may cast this card for its miracle cost when you draw it. If it's the first card you draw this turn. So sometimes you get lucky and you put a thunderous rod on your opponent for one mana. I was a little bit hesitant which X spell I would put in the deck. I was deciding do I put the original fireball in the deck but I found a cool alternative. Let's have a look at Banefire. This spell is similar than a fireball also cost one red mana and X is the amount of damage you deal but if this spell is 5 or more, I'm sorry Camille, this spell can't be countered and the damage can't be prevented. Now as you have noticed by now we play a lot of instants and a lot of sorceries in a burn deck to deal damage to the face of your opponent immediately. But we also play a little bit of support in the form of some creatures. I included 5 creatures that cost only 2 mana in the deck. The first one is called the Thermo Alchemist. He's a hot guy with an eye patch. It has Defender, it's an O3 and when you tap it it deals 1 damage to each opponent. But whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell you may untap it. So it can deal more than 1 damage each turn and it's a great card in the burn deck. Another superb card in the burn deck that is a little bit more vulnerable is the Firebrand Archer. Also for 2 mana you get a 2-1 and whenever you cast a non-creature spell the Archer deals 1 damage to each opponent. A bit more on the defense which is good if you play against aggressive decks is the Electrostatic Field. 
It's a card with a defender, it's an 0-4 and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery it deals 1 damage to each opponent. So these creatures deal some additional damage and the next one also does this. Gutter Snipe costs 3 mana, you get a 2-2 Goblin Shaman and whenever you deal an instant or sorcery you deal 2 damage to each opponent. So even more damage in the form of the Gutter Snipe. You want even more damage? Well I was just thinking about including the old Fire Elemental just for the burn art but it's not that great of a card. Looks nice though, but well, let's skip it. I have something better for you. The Fire Servant costs an equal amount of mana than the Fire Elemental. It's a 4-3 and if a red instant or sorcery spell you control would deal damage, it deals double that damage instead. So this is an awesome card in this deck. I play two Planeswalkers in the deck and the first one is also a creature. It's called Chandra Fire of Kaladesh. If you haven't read the Chandra comic, you really have to. It's really cool. Uh, it's the first comic I read about magic, but thumbs up. And apparently there's also a TV series coming out or maybe it's already out. Depends on when you watch this video. But uh, something also I really look forward to seeing. Back to the deck deck Bram. You already lost half of your audience. Bye. So the Chandra Fire of Kaladesh costs 3 mana, it's a legendary human shaman and whenever you cast a red spell you untap it. If you tap it, it deals 1 damage and if it has dealt 3 or more damage this turn you can exile it and then return it to the battlefield transformed. And then you'll get this girl, Chandra Roaring Flame. <laughs> It's a planeswalker with 4 loyalty, it's plus 1 is you can deal 2 damage to target player, it's minus 2 is it deals 2 damage to target creature, and for the minus 7 it's ultimate ability deals 6 damage to each opponent, and each player dealt damage this way also get an emblem. The emblem looks like this and it says at the beginning of your upkeep this emblem deals 3 damage to you. So that's already 9 burn damage that Chandra deals. Now I also included another planeswalker called Jaya Ballard. This one costs 5 mana, a lot of red. And for its plus 1 you can add 3 red mana to your mana pool. You can spend it to cost instants or sorceries. You can also plus 1 it and then draw that many cards. A really good ability I think. And for its ultimate ability at minus 8 you get an emblem with you may cast instants and sorcery cards from your graveyard if a card cast this way would be put into your graveyard exile it instead. So that means if it ultimates all your instants and sorceries will have flashback. So we talked about a lot of burn spells, a lot of instants and sorceries which are really the core of the deck with some support of a little bit of creatures, a little bit of planeswalkers, but I also included three enchantments just because they're so flavorful and they're really specifically for a burn deck. First up is the Molten Vortex and just look at the flavor text. If you can't take the heat, well that's going to be a problem. And it's going to be a problem of course because with this card you can discard a land card and it deals 2 damage to any target. Next up, Imminent Doom. This card deals that much damage to target creature or player and then you put another Doom counter on it. So for example you play a lightning bolt, then it deals one extra damage and then you put another counter on it. Then you play for example a lightning strike, lightning strike deals three damage but then imminent doom has two counters on it so it deals two extra damage. And then for example you play a char, then the char deals six damage because two from the counters on the imminent doom, four from the char. And you also put an additional counter on it for a rekindled flame to deal for example 7 damage. The last card that I put in the deck is the Aria of Flame which works great with the Pulse of the Forge. 
It gives your opponent a little bit of extra life, that's okay, because whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you can put a verse counter on it, and then it deals damage equal to the number of verse counters on it to target player or planeswalker. So this is also some additional burn that will add up very easily because you will be playing a lot of instants and sorceries in this deck. Whew, I'm already feeling hot. Let's look at the power rankings. Even though this burn deck has a lot of different cards in it and not a lot of four offs, it's a pretty powerful deck if you ask me in a casual environment. It's not that complex to play. You just focus on your opponent and try to burn his or her face off. It's very consistent and you wanna do one thing, burn, burn, burn. Be on the offense, there is not a lot of defense in this deck. I think it's a fun way to play from time to time and it's definitely some good value for money. Now let's have a look how this deck deals against other deck types. Now the most difficult matchup is the aggro deck because here you need to decide, you need to find out are the creatures that my opponent are playing and are attacking me in the first turns, are they dealing a lot of damage to me and do I need to direct my burn spells to kill them or do I immediately start burning my opponent. So this is something you need to learn by playing a lot. If it's a really fast aggressive deck, sometimes you need to burn the creatures before you need to start burning your opponent. So keep that in mind. So against the aggro deck, I give it a seven and against mid range decks, you have a little bit more time. So focus on burning your opponent and try to kill him before he gets going. I think the deck still does well against control decks because you can put a lot of pressure on your opponent. And against combo decks, well, it's not that great. You just hope to burn your opponent out before he can combo off. This was the meta game review. Now I've put a lot more burn spells in the maybe board for you to check out. So let's have a look. The following burn spells are a little bit more expensive. That's why I didn't include them in the deck, but they are definitely played in a lot of legacy or modern burn versions. Lava Dart costs one mana, it deals just the one damage, but you can also flashback it and you can sacrifice a mountain to deal that extra damage. And this card works especially well with a gutter snipe. Lava Spike just does three damage to target player or planeswalker. And I've chosen two creatures that go very well in a burn deck as well. You can swap out the Fire Servant and try out one of those two creatures. Sir Kara the Bolt is a human knight for 5 mana, you get a 3-3 and whenever Sir Kara the Bolt or an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to a player, exile the top card of your library, you may play that card this turn. And you can also tap this card to deal 1 damage to any target. Another very aggressive card is Torbran, Tain of Red Fell, for 4 mana you get a 2-4 and if a red source you control would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus two instead. So great with all the burn spells I have in the deck. Let's look at another planeswalker we can play in the deck. This one is called Jaya Venerated Fire Mage. For five mana you get a planeswalker with a static ability. If another red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one to the permanent or player instead. And for the minus two ability, Jaya Venerated Fire Mage deals two damage to any target. Now the last card I included in the maybe board is the Pyro Monsters Goggles. For five mana you get a legendary artifact, you can tap it to add one red mana and when you use that mana to cast an instant or sorcery, you can copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. So an awesome card as well for any burn deck. This time I'm in charge of announcing the winner of the card market voucher. So the winner of this week is... Can I get a drum roll please? Madness over matter. Congratulations and thank you for following the channel. See in description how to contact Bram on card market. Whew. These were all the burn spells. I need a drink. 
Oh, even the water's gone hot. Whew. Uh, now I know how Camille is feeling. <laughs> All right. Let's just keep it at that. Let's just keep it casual. And I'll see you next time. Bye.